Okay, here's the lightning version of setting up uh, Tyrannus Series D telemetry. We're just going to worry about simple battery, battery monitoring, and we'll have another future video that goes into a lot of the details about uh, why we're doing the things we're doing. So basically you need to get an FBVS01 unit, and you need to wire it up so that it can connect to your receiver and to your battery. I've got just this simple connection so we can look at it on the bench. If you're doing something like a 250 quad or something, you'll probably want to trim all this down uh, to get rid of the wiring. If you're using a D4R, you're going to have this uh, cable, and you are only going to care about the two left connectors that talk to the FBVS. We're going to insert this cable into the FBVS. We're going to ignore these two wires. I see I've got them taped up. And we're going to insert these two wires into the FBVS unit, taking care to match the polarity. And then we're going to take the other two wires and we're going to attach it to the balance plug of the battery. Again, taking care to match the polarity. And that's all you have to do hardware-wise. We're going to plug in. Okay, now let's uh, take the radio and we're going to do two things. First, we're going to configure the telemetry. Jump over to the telemetry menu and we're going to do two things. We're going to set A1 to be range 13.3 volts. A1 is the receiver voltage, which you generally don't ever care about if you're flying an electric model. Next, we're going to set the A2, and we're going to set the range to be 19.8 volts. We'll cover why that is in another video, but that is what the proper default value should be. And if you look here at the A2 channel, we'll see we're sitting at 11.25 volts. If you check that out with a voltmeter of your battery, you can confirm that that's correct. We'll skip that, but I've already uh, done that. The other two things you do is you're going to set your low alarm and your critical alarm. Here's the values that I typically use for 3S or 4S. You, know, you, you use whatever values are appropriate for your own flying and, uh, and batteries. Here, I've got them set a bit higher so that we can actually cause the alarms to go off. I've got this scungy old battery, and as soon as, uh, as, soon as we power up the motor, we'll kick that in. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to page over to the Custom Functions menu, and we're going to set Custom Function 1 so that when switch B is down, it's going to play the value of A2, and it's going to repeat. If you do this, you probably want to do like every 30 seconds. We're going to do every 10 seconds just so you can hear it. And then we're going to go back to the main menu, do a slow page, and you'll see now A1 and A2 are being reported on the telemetry screen. Now let's flip switch B down. And you'll see that's just reading off. I mean, that's actually so handy, you know, you heart, you'll hardly ever look at the screen. Okay, let's get rid of that. And now we're going to cause, we're going to start up the motor and see if we can get the low battery warning and then the critical battery warning. Okay, there's the low warning. And now we're going to turn it up a bit. And there's the critical warning. So you can see it's pretty simple. That's about all you have to do. Just remember these numbers and that will get you through the entire setup.